I often say that coming out with my MS was harder than coming out of the closet for the first time. I started out studying graphic design and it rolled into art direction. Donna Karen, Estee Lauder, and then the hospitality industry. When I was diagnosed, there was a lot of denial. Who could believe that this creative, athletic person could have a MS? It's ridiculous. So I hid it. I hid it from everybody. I sort of have this vision of myself uh, that I need to always maintain style, which is not an easy thing to do when you are disabled. And let me uh, lock up my apartment. Going to my doctor's offices, people would be there in wheelchairs or walkers or whatever, and I thought, that's depressing. I don't want to be that person in a wheelchair or using a walker, so of course the A-linker helps me. I get so many compliments writing that thing. I even have people tell me, wow, look at you, you're so stylish. I know, my walker had a baby with a wheelchair. Oh, that is beautiful. All right, so when I say go, I'm gonna get out of your way and I want okay. you to walk as fast as you can, but safely. Okay. Last time you did this walk, you did it in 12 seconds. Good, keep going. Good. Okay. Okay. There's no way that was 12 seconds. It was 17. Yeah, that's a lot more. But you, you made it. I did make it. So. We'll just do it the once. Why don't you walk back? We want to continue to treat to prevent new lesions, new symptoms. Right. But also have you continue to push yourself to renew reserve and keep your tank as full as possible. Every day that nothing has changed and everything continues to be the same as it was the day before. I'm super grateful. I discovered equine therapy once I get here. I forget that I have MS. Like, it just escapes my mind. It's a great feeling. I figured out how to live this new life in a good way. I mean, I have no choice, right? It's coming, it's here. <laughs>